Hey everyone, my name is David Brow, and I'm the music teacher who blogs at makemomentsmatter.org. You can also find my ideas on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and a variety of other places when you search for my name, David Rao, or Make Moments Matter. So I'm in my classroom today, and I wanted to share just a little bit about microphones that you might decide to use for your classroom, for daily use, for daily instruction. I'm not talking about microphones you could plug into the gym or auditorium or wherever and use for concerts. That's not really what I'm talking about. I'm talking mostly about like a classroom mic that you, the teacher, use when you are instructing students. Because over the past few years, especially if you were teaching with a mask on for an extended period of time, um, it, it was almost essential to have a microphone to amplify your voice because your voice was so muffled by masks. Um, and a lot of classroom teachers, a lot of music teachers realize how important it, it is to save your voice, to be careful about your voice. And so a lot of us started using microphones. I've been using a microphone for many, many, many years. I use it every day. Um, and for even before the pandemic, I got to the point where I was using it so often that like some people say, I don't want to use a microphone because it sounds weird. It feels weird. Yeah, maybe the first couple days, but I would say the benefits outweigh the awkwardness. Um, it is so, so, so nice to have a microphone because um, then you're not trying to project so much. You're not trying to sing over instruments, students, tracks, talking, whatever. Um, it's just so good for your voice and your vocal health to have a microphone every day. So today I'm going to talk about a couple different things that you might use um, and some options you could purchase with your school budget or even with your own budget if you're buying for yourself. Um, there are a couple options. Okay, so I've realized there are like a few different types of microphone that if you're gonna go looking to purchase through your school or purchase for yourself, there are a couple things you're gonna see. There's the kind of microphone where you wear a microphone and it attaches to like a belt pack and that pack itself is the amplification. It's like a little speaker that you wear on your belt or on a lanyard or whatever. Um, and those seem to work really well for some people. The, um, the downside for that is that it's constantly on you and if you're moving and doing stuff, it could fall off and break. That would happen to me, I'm pretty sure. Um, also that speaker can only get so loud and so um, at some point, it's not going to be all that loud. Or if you're doing like um, a rehearsal in the gym or something, it's stuck to you. So um, it's only as it's only going to reach kids who are closer to you. So um, that sort of amplification system is really great for like if you are um, leading people on tours of museums or if you're in a small classroom. For larger settings or maybe instruments, it's maybe not as effective, but I I've not used one in my classroom. People who have them sometimes just absolutely love them. So it that also simplifies the process. You're not sending a radio signal or projecting or anything anywhere. It's pretty simple to use. It's one system and it just lives on you. Um, those often though do require a lot of batteries. So if you have anything with batteries, um, I'm going to suggest you buy reusable batteries and a charger and not try and just buy bunches and bunches of batteries, buy a bunch of batteries and then use a charger. And there's a set that I actually did that for, which I'll uh, talk about in a minute. So there's the first kind is like the kind that you might wear on your person. That's one of the options. Um, past that, then you get to microphones that usually transmit to somewhere. There are some microphone systems like I had this one when I moved to my classroom. It's Teach Logic brand um, and it comes with a little belt pack which has batteries, but it comes with rechargeable batteries and a little charging station. Cool! Um, except that this system only sends signals to the speaker that is also Teach Logic brand that has a receiver. It doesn't change signals. I, I couldn't find a way to change whatever. It wasn't talking to the newer systems I had. It, I think, uses a radio signal. It's, and this is old, and a lot of teachers in my building were just starting to get rid of them because they just weren't working quite as well. That's another kind of a system where you have a belt pack that transmits only to one specific speaker, and that is a little limited too. But it's another option. And hey, if you have that in your classroom, great. The, the cool thing about this one actually was that it came with its own little pack and its own little thing. Um, and it recharged here. And I had a handheld, which was cool then because I could take that around and, and let students talk too. So that's another option. The kind that like is w a microphone to one specific speaker. Again, you're limited, right, by where you can take it and where you can use it. But again, it's another option. And hey, if you already have that in your classroom, cool. Um, 
then there's the kind of speaker or the kind of microphone that transmits and then can plug into something else. So maybe um, you have a microphone and a transmitter on your body and then that connects to a receiver that can either plug into a Bluetooth speaker or a soundboard or um, a wired speaker or whatever. There's the kind that'll just, it'll transmit and then the receiver plugs in somewhere. Um, I have a system like that that I purchased several years ago that I used for a long, long, long time. I really liked it. Um, I actually have links on my Amazon page if you're interested in any of these um, newer sort of systems. This is a Fine fi fi Technology brand. Um, and so what did it come with? It had a little belt pack that I wore. This is the transmitter. And then it had this little receiver. So the receiver comes with the quarter inch jack, right? Um, it has batteries, the belt pack has batteries. Um, this plugged into either a soundboard or I could get one of these little adapters to go from the quarter inch jack to the auxiliary jack, like a headphone jack. Um, and then that could plug into a Bluetooth speaker, it could plug into a bigger speaker, it plug into whatever I wanted. The downside was this, was that it sucked the battery life so fast. So I bought, um, on Amazon I found um, a kind of rechargeable battery that came with like four AA's and four AAA's and a charging station. So the microphone system itself, I looked at it today, it's like $44 the rechargeable battery pack that I found that was like four double A's, four triple A's and a charging station was like 20 bucks. But the nice thing about that was this uses two, this uses two. So two triple A, two double A. So I could have two extra triple A and two extra double A always charging while I was using the ones of the system. So like it, it worked out fine. And it was something that I had to buy myself because uh, my district just didn't offer it or wasn't going to buy it or didn't have the budget or whatever. And so $60 for something I was going to use every day, I felt like it was worth it for me. So that's the, that's what I spent my, my personal money on. Um, and then I can use the batteries at home or whatever if I want. The other cool thing is it comes with this little microphone, the lavalier mic, the one that, like the past, the pastor mic that can clip on. Right. And then this is nice because you can get as close as you want. Actually during COVID, I could like clip this onto the end of my mask and it was sort of nice that you could, um, click that in. It also comes with, you know, the, the Britney Spears, the Madonna, the, I don't know, BTS mic, the one that's like, that comes up and around your face. Um, it comes with one of those too. So it, a couple options for mic, which is nice. And then the, the, it was a very reliable system too, the, with the, um, the receiver and the transmitter. So those worked pretty well. Um, but it also did mean that I constantly had a belt pack on. Um, I would constantly catch my arm on the cord or, you know, do all sorts of things. The, the thing that I learned, my trick about this type of system was, um, okay, so first of all, I would use the Britney BTS Madonna microphone, um, but I wouldn't wear it like a headset. I wouldn't wear it like I was in a, a it feels like a, like a um, tele, telecom center. I didn't use it like I was in a call center. Instead, I wore it around my neck and I let the microphone reach up to my uh, mouth. And this actually worked pretty well. It was very stable. Uh, it stayed right where I wanted it to. And then it wasn't on my head. It wasn't doing anything. So that was my trick there. My other trick was to take the cord and run it underneath my shirt so that there wasn't just a random cord flying around between the belt pack and my mic set. It was like at least protected from my flailing arms so that I didn't... Um, I didn't catch it because I feel like that's the biggest problem is I catch it on my ukulele when I'm taking it off or I catch it on my arm or I catch it on a kid or whatever. So putting the mic down underneath my shirt actually sort of helped. So um, that's one great option. That's the Fi Fine technology. Um, but there, I mean, there are limitations to that too. If your batteries run out, uh, then you're you're limited. If you don't have the right sort of connector, you got to get one of those. But the cool thing for this was it would connect into my speakers at school. It would also connect into my school system. So it would project through the speakers in my room. Um, I could pull this out and use the quarter inch jack and plug it into a soundboard. If I were doing a big sort of a concert thing and I wanted to have like multiple microphones, it could still connect in. Um, so that was a, a nice option. One other thing, if you're getting uh, a microphone system and you want to get more mics um, and more options, you have to think about what kind of cable the microphone plugs into because there are some really nice options out there for like if you wanted to get a slimmer profile microphone. Like I found this little guy um, on 
uh, Amazon a couple years ago and it's nice because it just hooks over your ear and comes down and it's really it can be bent and sort of made so it stands right or it gets right near your mouth this was a, another great one during COVID to go underneath my mask it would just tuck right in and was great but the cord is super flimsy so I, I kept breaking these and going through different ones and the end is a headphone jack so if you don't have the right connector you got to sort of be careful about that but if you have a system where you have a microphone that connects like that, play around, find different options, see what works for you. Um, but be careful about how does the microphone connect to your belt pack. I learned that one the hard way. And be prepared to get replacements because these things were not meant to be used with kindergartners or to be meant to be used, you know, when you're playing, I don't know, Charlie over the ocean, you're running with a ukulele in your hand and there are kids. I mean, like they, they were not meant for that. So we put a little bit more use on them as music teachers than I think maybe some other people do. I think the golden option, the best option is a microphone that goes around your neck, has no extra cords, no extra batteries, and connects to a receiver somewhere. Um, I found this one a couple years ago. This is Aver Media brand. Um, it is very cool because it goes on a little uh, necklace just around your neck. You just press a button to turn it on. It catches your voice. It has a little volume button here. Ooh, it is slick and nice and wonderful. The connector, the receiver is this tiny little guy. Um, it just has a line out, so like an, uh, a headphone line out, and it, it just connects to the wall or to something USB. And, and it is so simple. You can connect it to a Bluetooth speaker, you can connect it to a bigger speaker, you can connect it to whatever you want. The, it's, it's a very, 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 very nice microphone. It broke for me a couple years ago because at a concert, we're doing something outside and the speaker fell over and it broke and it just, and the thing about this one is, yes, it works really well, it's very nice. It's also like $200, $300, it's very expensive. The Aver Media brand. So if you can get these or you have a budget, these are really nice. Just be more careful than maybe I was because it did not last all that well. The one that I currently have um, was a recommendation from my friend Julie. I love it. It is the same idea as that Aver Media one, only it's not nearly as expensive. So it is Alvoxcon, A-L-V-O-X-C-O-N. This is on my Amazon page if you want to go find it and buy it either from Amazon or somewhere else. Feel free. But it comes, um, I wear it on a little necklace around um, all day long. Um, it connects here. It has a little microphone. You can also connect um, another microphone with a headphone jack if you want to connect. Like So if you want a headset mic instead and you want to wear this on your belt, you can. If you want a Britney mic, you can. And you know, But it has this little tiny microphone, so I can just wear it here. So the nice thing is I just turn it on, boom, it's on, and then it connects, I don't know if you can hear that, connects to my speaker system in my classroom. Um, and actually, the receiver is really easy too. I'm going to turn this off. So the receiver, um, it looks just like this. It's also tiny. If you want to be really fancy, it's got a little, ooh, a receiver. Okay. Um, but it just plugs in through USB or it charges through USB or whatever. And it has um, a headphone jack out. So super small, super simple, super easy. Um, I love it because... You know, once it's plugged in and on, all I have to do is press this button and bam, I'm being amplified. I have volume on here if I want to change it. Um, if you, there are multiple people in your building who have this exact microphone, um, you can change your frequency so that you don't accidentally start transmitting to like the art room or whatever. Um, but this is, it's a super simple, it comes in a really little case. It's very, very, very easy. It actually has a connector so you can hook it into a phone or you can hook it into a whatever. I mean, there, there are lots of different options. Um, but the nice thing about it is it has many different connection options because out of that receiver, it comes just through a headphone jack. So I plug mine into my big Bluetooth speaker. I've got a big audio commander speaker and I plug it into that. But if I had um, the right jack, I could plug it into my classroom audio my classroom speakers, they're just, they're not very high quality, so I don't really use them all that often, but uh, they're just older and they've been as long, here as long as the building and they've been blasted for many years. So they, the quality is not as nice, but you could plug it into a Bose speaker. You could plug it into whatever um, you have and it, it makes things very, very, very simple. And so this is AlvaxCon. Um, the thing that's, that's also nice, so I told you that several years ago, I purchased this set 
and I had to buy this and batteries, right? So this was like $44, $45 plus, like $20 for the rechargeable batteries. This one, the same thing, no batteries, no extra cords, no nothing, is like $60, $65, something like that. Um, so it's the same price essentially as the other one, but you don't have to worry about batteries, no hassle, none of that. And this has a little charging port, so you can just charge it with like whatever charge you use for like Kindles, Android stuff, um, all the like USB, I don't know, something there. I can't remember the name of the port. Anyway, it's, it's pretty easy, simple to, um, chart. It's whatever this is. I don't know if you can see that. The little like, hello. I don't know if you can see. It's not the iPhone charger. It's like the, whatever the Samsung Galaxy things use. Anyway, it's very, very, very simple, easy to use. I think the gold standard for if you're in the classroom is something you can just wear around your neck that hooks into whatever system you have in your room. So whether that's a speaker, whether it's your classroom audio, whether it's your computer or whatever, um, something you can just press on and it goes. Um, and like I said, this does have a connector so you can connect it into a phone, you can connect it into a computer, you can connect it into a camera, I guess, is that's one of the options. I don't know. If you're curious and you're like, hey, would it work with blah, 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 uh, send me a message. I can maybe help you, but I can also send you the link to where I got it. And you can, you, it's nice. You can look through the pictures and see like, oh, it connects to this. It connects to this. It connects to this. So some options. But I would say if you're getting a, a microphone for your classroom, try and find something that has not so many cords, not so many batteries, not so many other things so that you can, uh, oh, Jessica said microcharger. That's what this is? Sure. Anyway, <laughs> um, something that has less cords, less hassle, just like boop, it's on um, and picks up your voice pretty well. This does a really good job. Um, you, Like I said, you can also get the microphone if you want to get it closer to your mouth. That's cool. Um, the other thing I have done that's sort of a cheat option is I've also used like a lavalier mic on these to connect close to my ukulele to amplify my ukulele. So hey, another option um, to use something like this to sort of do that. But um, choose something with less cords, less batteries, less hassle. Even if it's a little bit more money, look for that PTA grant. Look for that extra money if you can. Like I said, this one, it seems like it's more because it's like $60, but the other system is, is batteries are not included. So it's going to end up being more. But um, this is way less than the 200 or $300 that some of the other systems cost. It's more versatile. Uh, you can use it in a lot of different places. So um, anyway, check it out. Okay, so like I said, on my Amazon page, I'll try and drop a link to that. But on my Amazon page, I have a whole page, uh, like a wish list basically of just technology stuff. This is on there. Um, some of the other things are on there so you can see them and compare them and say like, well, this is what he has. I can't speak to systems I've never tried, but um, I can say like, oh, I've used this or I've used this or I've used this. So if you have questions, feel free to email me or send me a message. But um, I thought I would share what I have right now and what I've used in the past and what works. Um, I hope that you have a microphone. And if you don't, um, I hope that you, this helps you a little bit as you start to think about choosing what you might use in your classroom in the future. All right. Thanks everyone. Have a great night.